Well, Canada's first and only commercial spaceport received the government's support for commercial space launch activities. That support includes the modernization of regulatory requirements, safety standards, and licensing conditions necessary for launch. Uh, for more on this, we're joined by Stephen Mattier, CEO of Maritime Launch Services. Uh, thanks so much for making time for us, Stephen. Very much my pleasure. Thank you. It sounds like exciting times in the space industry for Canada to get the support from the government to uh, sort of green light commercial space launches from this country. Oh, it very much is. It's a, a great news for us, a validation of all the work that we've been putting in for the last few years to get us to this point. And so two years of work, what, what all were you having to do over that time to try to get here? Well, when, when one is uh, trying to find a launch location, you have to go through an exercise of you know, figuring out where satellite clients want to be in space and mm -hmm. can you reach there from the location. Uh, you have to figure out where there's a place that's safe and away from um, you know, heavy public areas. And then you start going through the environmental reviews, safety reviews, and bird studies and everything else that have to be completed before you can get to a point of construction. And along that way, you're also working with the federal government um, and providing them documentation about the analyses you're doing to show you know, the, the, the safety aspects of, of doing this in that location. So that process has been going on for a number of years. We uh, last year had a great year of momentum with the start of construction, uh, with the land lease that we have in place for 40 years, signing on launch vehicles and signing on uh, satellite clients along the way. And then to have the government come out and embrace this publicly like that is, is a great momentum piece for us, certainly. Mm. Why did you want to do this in Canada? Well, it, to, for, for me personally, I'm from, from the States and, and I've been working in the industry for 30 years, started as a, a contractor for NASA in the space shuttle program. Mm. And, and we're in this great commercial space industry. It's at uh, over $450 billion a year right now, headed for a trillion dollars a year. All of this opportunity out there. And here we are as a space sector using commercial satellites, commercial launchers, but everybody using government ranges. So the idea of developing a, a plan to uh, build a commercial launch site that can serve and be the full vertical chain for this market uh, was really attractive to me. And why Canada? Why not do it in, in the U.S., if that's, uh, especially if that's where you're from? Well, that's a great question. And all the, the, the adage about location, location, location really, mm. really does matter. I mentioned to you the, the satellite clients and where they want to go. They want to launch over an ocean and they want to launch more these days in what are called uh, polar trajectories or inclinations, if you will, that are off of polar. So when you're on that peninsula of Nova Scotia at the northeast corner and you're looking due south, you have nothing but open ocean between, you know, all from South America to Africa. And it's in that range of inclinations that they want to put their satellites into orbit. Mm. We, we're, we're done with the big satellites that go in geosynchronous orbit. Now we're into constellations like Starlink, where there's not just tens or hundreds, there's thousands of these satellites that are all in low Earth orbit that need to get into space. And where they want to go is where we can offer it uh, from Spaceport Nova Scotia. So are there challenges, though, in, in um, Canada, in Nova Scotia, where, where you're planning to launch from? I'm thinking, you know, I, I know it has to be perfect weather, doesn't it, for, for launches to take off uh, successfully? <laughs> Uh, you, you, not perfect. Um, we have the advantage of not a lot of lightning on the coast in Nova Scotia, which is a real ad over places like Florida, for example. Um, mm -hmm. But the, most of the technology uses liquid oxygen and cryogenic propellants like that. So, uh, and, and used to operating in cold temperatures. You know, if you look at Baikonur and places in China and a lot of other places there in northern latitudes, Alaska has one as well. So cold climate doesn't matter. What what slows us down is a super windy day, not mm -hmm. really much of anything else. So. Which, I mean, it is, it can be quite windy out that way. 
Yeah, it really can. But this vehicle in particular that we're using, it can you know withstand a, a side load wind of 25 miles an hour. So mm. it's actually a, quite a robust vehicle for us that we're using. Okay, so where are you um, in terms of progress at that site there in Nova Scotia? Well, as I mentioned, we got the uh, land lease and the permission to start construction last August. September 6th, we put a trailer on this site and started the road work. So uh, we have uh, been going all the way even up to last week uh, with uh, com working on the access road down to the launch pad site. So it's uh, the, the road out to the horizontal integration facility, which is a main feature of the site, is complete. And we're now turning south to head down to the launch pad site. Uh, so that activity is going really well. We've got design teams working on various aspects of facility design, specialty support equipment design, and moving those pieces forward so we can uh, get into more you know, major construction activities, activities later this year. And I don't know if you would be looking at it dollar-wise or what have you, Stephen, but um, in terms of the demand that you'd be expecting for that site, uh, what do you think it, you'll, you'll see? We're we're projecting reaching a launch tempo of twelve per year of the the the, the medium class launcher, and the price for that is forty five million dollars U S for five thousand kilograms to low Earth orbit. So twelve times sixty plus Canadian. Uh, that's the annual uh, revenue that will generate uh, uh, here in Nova Scotia.